If I'm going to do something, I'm, I'm going to do it properly. And I know that if I'm going to go in the gym and, and try and build some muscle, it takes a lot, a lot of effort. You know, unless you're some genetic freak guy. You know, I know when you've got to go in there, you, you've got to give it everything you've got. Come on, man, big fucking hanging back. Come on, man, hanging from the traps to the waist. Want to grow, man. Want to grow. Thick as fuck. Front and rear. Yup! That's where it comes from. Come on. Yeah, educate them, Miles. Educate them. Bang them in. Oh, looking easy. Okay, let's go now. Kick in. Come on, every rep a winner now. Every rep. Come on, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Two more. Come on! Partials, partials! Hard! Let's have it! Run and grow! Yes! You've got this kind of inner violence. You have to be a little bit aggressive and a little bit violent up there to, to, to push yourself. Come on, Miles, come on! Mind over fucking matter now. Last set. Come on, last bit. 60 seconds of hurt. Let's have it. Ooh. There we go. Good. Power it up. Ooh. That's good. Drive it up. Ooh. Power it up. Ooh. Get it. Ooh. One more, let's go. Ah! Yep, yep. Suck it in. Drop. 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 
Oh, make it look easy. Good. Come on, two more. Stop. Again. Bang. Yep. Good. That's it. All right. Two, three. Two, two plates. Yep. Yes. Squeeze that lower back. Squeeze it. Stop. Oh, come on. Stop. Stop. Keep going. Two more. Stop. Again. Still there. Still there. Stop. Come on. Still two. Still two. Stop. One. Right. Come on, get greedy, get oh. greedy. Suck it in, suck it in. Suck it in. That's how you finish a back session. UKBFF North Championships. That's a UKBFF qualifier that we hold at Rain Meadows. You know, I was approached by UKBFF. I, and we haven't got a, or we didn't have, um, a UK BFF event in this area. And they said, you know, do you, do you want to have a qualifying show? You know, I want to promote bodybuilding, I want to promote the sport. So I said, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. I don't do the show to make money, you know. You know, there's a couple of years I've actually lost money on the show. I'll see this on camera now. Um, I do because I, I love to, I'm passionate about bodybuilding and I want to promote bodybuilding. Bodybuilders. How many bodybuilders were there, Eames, last week? Uh, Wales. Was it Wales last oh, week? Oh, there was Wales and Cumbria. Oh yeah, they were deer part, weren't they? Today, I was hoping for like 100, 100 plus. How many bodybuilders uh, are you hoping for out of that 100? 90%. <laughs> I know the deal now, it's, it's going to be a lot of bit physique and bikini, but hey, it is what it is, you know. Just because I'm a huge bodybuilding fan doesn't mean everybody else is, so we'll see what happens. I think the fitness and physique outweigh the, uh, the bodybuilding, probably five to one, probably more. Social media, it has helped bodybuilding, don't get me wrong. It, it puts it out there into the public eye and stuff. People are not better bodybuilders because of it. Maybe it's helped the, the supplement industry a little bit, but it's not so much helping the athletes. I think it's more the companies that are benefiting. Please give me a tip on how to get super big thighs like yours. Professional bodybuilders do not help, but you do. Not help, but I'll still be your F-U-C-K buddy, if you like. No thanks, you're all right. How about 500 euros if you send me a picture of your forearm pump up with a tape measure around it? I don't know. <laughs> you are perfect, thank you, <laughs> if only. I do actually have a contract that states this, that, whatever, but I, I am supposed to do, I think it's um, two YouTube videos a week, um, you know, reposts. Yeah, it's contracted. It is, I do have a social media guideline uh, and like a kind of a graph type of thing. I'm the bodybuilder through and through. He feels it, he feels it like any other bodybuilder does at the moment. But we need people like that at the moment to keep the bodybuilding world alive or to keep it going. Oh, I don't know, people say, are oh, you jealous? Probably there is a bit of jealousy in there. The fact that these guys are getting more attention, they're spending less time in the gym and whatever, you know, less sacrifice. You've got this guy who's sacrificing everything and he's getting no comeback. You've got guys competing for si after six months and they don't seem to be enjoying it. I don't know what, what it's because of the pressure and like everybody's on social media, this, that, whatever. Guys who were doing the first show should not be like, Distraught and destroyed if, if they get beat. They should be just taking on the chin, having a bit of fun. Yeah, I think I think bodybuilding get a little bit ruined by the whole massive pressure at, for 16, 17 year old kids. It's always good to have a team around you that you can call upon. A good team, people that are not going to bullshit you, blow smoke up your ass. You don't need that. You need people to tell you the truth. This is my brother Mark, um, it's his first contest and he's actually a week out now, so he's pretty tired, pretty beat up. Um, Leroy's going to give him a, a little bit of pause and advice. Mark's kind of like me, he likes to train, 
he likes to get stuck in in the gym, but he doesn't really like the pausing and the, the kind of being the extrovert. He's, he's very similar to me in, in that way. Bring his arm, now that's it, that's it, because what we don't want to do is hide this. Yeah? Now just blow out, <laughs> blow out, all the way, all the way, there we go. It's uncomfortable and it's fucking hard, but you've got to do that. Chin up. Squeeze. Yeah, exactly what you're telling him now is he'll tell you I've been drumming yeah. home the last. Start from the bottom, smile. It's a good pause for you. That's it, and then a bit of a yeah. twist as well. You've got to blow right out. And then smile. Like you're enjoying it, that's it. And squeeze and hold for 10 seconds. I didn't get into training until I actually started working here. I didn't really have an interest. But I've been putting it off for about two to three years, saying next year, next year. But I think now's the time to actually get out there and see what's underneath and see what I can actually bring on that stage. It's going to be hot. It's going to be nervous. Yeah. It's going to be dehydrated, so it's even fucking harder, man. Posing is a very important part. You know, as well as the training, as well as the nutrition and everything else, posing, you've got, you got to do the posing. He's doing all my diets, he's keeping all my training and stuff like that, basically everything, so I I'm, I'm really appreciate that he's doing that for me, especially when he's doing his own prep this year. I used to be very emotional walking around the, yeah. around the reservoir. If you don't get that fucking lump in your throat two weeks out, you're not, you don't want it bad enough. Yeah. I'll I get it. Yeah. You know, this when he starts. I used to be walking, I used to have fucking tears. Some yeah. people just look at me and I'll, and I'll be walking around the reservoir, you know, six o'clock in the morning, they've got the guys and girls walking their dog, the, the dogs, you know, they muck me to myself and, uh, and I used to have these, in them days with the old headphones on, with the old Walkman fucking, I see. <laughs> and uh, I'd get very, you know, I'd, I'd be very, it, it, you think about things like that. You got to make time for you. Your regime, you know, you got to be, you got to be regimental with your top, with your foods and whatever. And if your kid wants to play, sometimes you just haven't. Well, what you, one, you, it's it's the wrong time to try and play, and, and two, you probably haven't got the energy, especially towards it's the end. Exactly today, that's just today. It's just can we play? And I said, how did you say, Leo? I physically haven't got the energy, so I said, but he won't understand. He'll be back to normal. Yeah, he won't. He won't understand. He just see grumpy daddy. You know, but it's just something you got to go through. And say, as soon as you walk off that stage, you hand in the trophy. You go there, you go. So that's what I used to do. I used to call my lad to the um, stage. Oh, you deserve that. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh! Last master chest. Drive. There we go. Drive. There we go. Drive. Boom. Again. Drive. Two more. Boom. Two more. Drive. One Boom. more. Up there. Drive. Get it up. Ah. Again. Again. Drive. Finish it. Squeeze there. Squeeze. Squeeze. Nice slow. And breathe. Good man. Breathe. One. Let's go again. Let's go again. Bang your eyes, come on! Aye. Come on, it's coming! Here Aye. comes the hurt! Come on! Aye. Again! Here comes the hurt! Yeah! Aye. Again! Drive! Again! Aye. Drive! One more! Aye. One more! Get it up! Aye. There we go! Oh. And breathe! There we go! Let's go! Come on! And bang! Come on, bang it! Aye. Come on! Love the hurt! Aye. Love the hurt! Come on, baby! Keep going! Again! Aye. Get it up! Again! Again! Oh, oh. Suck it in. Okay, come there, come on. Squeeze the top, hold it at the top, hold it at the top, hold it. There, there, that's good. Squeeze, there, that's good. Come on, feel it, huh? feel it. Yeah. Hot! Come on, again, again. Up and squeeze. Yeah, again. Up and squeeze. One more, one more. Okay. Perfect. Nasty. Nasty. The word aggressive. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think I'm aggressive. I mean, I've always been. Oh, he's an aggressive bastard. He is. Oh, great. Yeah. If you think, if you think I'm an aggressive bastard, you don't want to come and talk to me and leave me alone. Then I'm happy with that. Fuck first exercise. Go ahead, chicken power. Let's have it. Yep. That's yours. We're Let's in. Go. Let's go. Bring it. Bring it. Ah, oh, she's fucking strong. Again. 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 Again.
again. Oh, Bye. it's too light. Come on, keep going. Again. Bye. Again. Bye. Oh, two more, oh, two more. Two fucking more. I'll bring it. Uh, yeah. One more. Uh, Three, uh, eight. Got one left. Yeah, let's have it. Let's get it out. I'll bring it. Uh, bring it. Squeeze it in. That's it, squeeze it. Okay. Push Fuck. It. Toast. <sighs> Wake me up, Cole. Come on in. Come on, Max. Come on, Why are you on Come on. Back on the trail. Three, two, two one, go! Oh, we're in. Oh. Let's go. Easy. Oh. Come on, pump them out. Come on, the six good ones. Oh. One four. Go! Oh. Still you! Oh. Dad! There's one, oh. There's one fucking left. Again! Oh, there's one half, oh. half and squeeze. All of that, squeeze. Oh. Intense, it's, it's, I, I, I'm, it's, it's just the way I've always been. It, you know, even, even when I first started touching weights, I tried to train as intense as, as possible. Fitness on the chest. Coming. You in? Yep. Let's go, let's go. Drive it. Ooh. One, that's good. Drive. Ooh. Yeah. Drive it. Ooh. Drive it. Ooh. Again. Bang it out again! Aye. Come on! Bang! Again! Aye. Push the squeeze! Aye. One more! One more! Let's have one more! Push! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! And drop! Good shit! We're managing to push some poundages around. My body weight's going up. My body fat's coming down. Um, today I weighed myself I was 222 pounds. Sometimes I will say things to myself, you know, in my head, like, listen. You don't get this, someone's going to kill your dog or something. Or it's, you've got to have something that means something to you to, to bring that kind of... Big squeeze, come on. Ah, that's good. Come on, big squeeze. That's it, crunch it in. Oh, here we go now, come on. Let's go, pull it. Hold it there, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's go again, let's go again. Pull, pull. Going to bring you a bit, just a bit. Hold it there, hold it there. One more like that, one more like that. And pull! Come on, bring it! Bring it! Hold it there, hold it! Squeeze! Three, two, one! We got it! Good chest. Excellent chest. That fucking chest is popping. It's popping. <laughs> Come on with that. Fucking hell. Bodybuilding is, obviously it's a physical sport, but it's largely mental, you know? You, you've got to take yourself places that other people can't. Big arms, big massive arms. Yeah! One double bicep. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. Pull. That's good. Ooh. Pull it. Ooh. That's strong. Pull. Ooh. Come on, again. Ooh. Pull it. Ah. One more. One more. Let's have one more. That's yours, come on, get it up! Okay. Let's go again. Let's go again. That's it. Pull and squeeze. Again. Again. Get up! Come on, one more! One more! One more! Bring it! This. Okay. Ooh. Ah, power ball. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Oh. Come on, battle four arms. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Oh. Hoist them up. Oh. Hoist it up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Come on, finish it. Oh. More. Oh. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Good set. Good set.
Oh, should we go over there where it's light? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. Say hello. This is Leah, Leah Edie Bales. She was born March 16th. So she's going to be six weeks old this Wednesday. When Leah was born, I was lying on the floor in the maternity room, eating tuna out of a can. And I felt like I should have been, you know, lying on the bed, we'd done eating a bar of chocolate or whatever. But you know, we had to sacrifice that kind of whatever to to get to where we needed to be. Oh, I'm new to all this, I'm, uh, I don't know if I'm holding my head correctly or... I kind of left it to the wrong side of 30 to be a parent. I hate to use the word selfish, but you do have to be a little bit selfish because, you know, if if you do it correctly, it, it takes literally pretty much all of your day, you know. So I've never been a kind of paternal type, if you like. I'm, I'm 38, this is my first child. You know, I, I never said I didn't want children, but I wasn't kind of... But now she's come along, it's like... I know you, you get people saying this all the time, like, oh, you never know until you have your own children, but it is true, you know, it's like... You know, it's, it's like nine, sometimes ten o'clock. I'm down there Hello. on the treadmill and stuff, and she's up here. And I could be spending time with her, you know. I, I don't mind kind of sacrifices and, and stuff like that if I know there's going to be an end result. But at this point, I really don't know if there's going to be an end result. It's just, you know, this isn't my usual mindset because I, this is like kind of out of my control. It's about 9.30 p.m. Uh, just got done with the second session of cardio. I'm uh, kind of at that phase now where the, the brain isn't kind of kicking in. Pisses me off to say this, uh, the chest, the, the, the hematoma kind of scarring or whatever you want to call it, or tissue, it's, it's still not looking great, I'm afraid. I mean, part of me thinks, what the fuck am I doing? I mean. Pardon the, the, the language, but you know, I got a guy on this shoulder saying, "Ant, what the fuck? You know, you're, you're three weeks out, and it's it's not going to be acceptable to get on stage." And then we've got the guy on this shoulder, who's the, the stubborn bastard ant, who just, you know, mentally, I just can't kind of, I can't give up. I don't, I don't do it. You know, I don't give up. here packing meals and cases and stuff and eating low carbs and doing cardio and you know I've, I've my daughter was born like she's, she's four weeks old tomorrow you know I've left her at home because of we're continuing with the prep and stuff for the moment we're going to keep kicking ass we're going to keep doing the cardio we're going to keep training hard yeah. we'll get some training done tonight and then get the leg session in Midorian tomorrow so I'm looking forward to that you know if, if I ever need a bit of a motivational boost, that's going to be it, you know. Now we live in a society where everything is expected to be instant, you know. You, you go on X Factor or Big Brother and you're instantly famous for, you know, with no, for no reason really. If you wanted to get publicity previously, before the internet, before the social media, if you want to get your picture in the magazine or you want to get your articles on training or nutrition or whatever, your views published in a magazine and people would read it, you had to have some credentials. You had to have some experience. You had to win a contest or something like that before you'd even get in there. There was only one route. Now you don't need to do that. You can just post your pictures online and it's available to the whole world. In my mind, it's like, <clears throat> you know, if you're into cars, you probably know fucking whatever 1968 Mustang was the best one they ever built and they didn't build one like that again. Same with this equipment. There's my favorite piece. That's uh, oh, original I'll Nautilus, mate. I'll steal original. that, man. I'll take that home on the plane. Very hard to find. We have Redid the paintwork and the upholstery and everything. That's an original Nautilus cam. And the, the plate loader, which is uh, much better, so... Don't make them like that anymore, man. A lot of people come in this gym and don't really know what this is, but if you know, you know. I don't know why some gyms 
don't like bodybuilders in there, you know? Bodybuilders or athletes of a high level should be inspirational to the other people and should be able to train side by side. I don't see why uh, they're taking out the squat racks and so on. Gyms are about setting goals, discipline, hard work. And yes, you're gonna sweat and you're gonna make some noise and you might drop the fucking weights on the floor. But it's a gym, that's why we've got rubber floor everywhere. It's a lot easier, let's be honest. You know, if you want to go into one of these men's physique contests, first of all, you don't even need to train your legs because you're wearing a pair of long shorts. So that eliminates most of the hard work. Uh, you just got to do a little chest and shoulders and, and be in shape. So the same thing with the women with a bikini contest. It's easy, it's accessible. And from a business point of view, for people that are promoting contests and promoting a sport, this is good because there's more people doing it. Maybe it's good if you've got more people in the gyms, more people training and so on, but I kind of miss the, um, the old days because for me, it was all about the challenge, and if the challenge is not great, I just don't find it that attractive. I could, well, have, done, I could have done physique before I started training, mate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and squeeze, lower down. Oh! Controlling it, mate, all the time. Making the muscles work all the time. No rest. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on. Or you. Six. Up. Uh, seven. Come on. Let's go. Uh, eight. All you. Push. Squeeze. Nine. And again. Push. Let's go and start now. Two more. These are the ones. Let's do it. Push. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Top. Squeeze. One more. One more. Push. Squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. Squeeze it there. Slow down. Nice. Good job, man. Good job, man. It ain't pretty, but it works. Two, three. Let's go. Whoa. I'm in, man. Don't wait. Yup. Come on. Come on. You have to dry that. Push. Ooh. One. Two. Ooh. Three. Ooh. Four. Ooh. Five. Ooh. Constant. Don't stop. Come on. It's constant. Six, we're with you. Come on, go. Push. Seven, two, and again. Push. Eight. Two more. Two more. We're doing it. Legs. Power. Drive. Yeah. One more. We got you. Come on. One more. One more. Let's do it. And push. Yes. And all right. Lock it up. Lock it up. Nice. Good set. That's how we do it. Don't forget to use your towel between sets, Anthony. They need to do that temple, man. <laughs> People's body parts and shit. Yeah. On the machines Some old down underpants. There. Old underpants we used to wipe the machines down there. Spiders and fucking bones and shit. Training is sacred to me. That's just my time uh, and my meditation where I just want to disappear from the world and just get into the training. Yep. Come on then, Nancy. See what you got. Oh. Come on, big fucking legs. Push. Oi. On. Let's go. Who? Oi. Hey. Oh, all of you, come on. Let's go. Five, start working. Six, come on. All you. Push. And again, easy. All yours. Push. One more, one more, man. One more. Breathe, breathe. And then one. Deep breaths and one. Power. Push! Boom, 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 boom. Three deep breaths and we'll do the last one. Last one, three oh, deep breaths. Hold on. Come on. Get her in. You, we're ready. We got you. Push through your heels, we've got you. Come on, let's go. Push! Nice, rack it up. Okay, good man. Okay, good. Well, this is where the joy is, man, in the, in the challenge, you know, in the pain. If you can overcome that, then you, you're stronger. That's the beauty of it, you know? If it's easy, this, what's the point, man? Show your hamstrings then. Let's see it, man. Cables. Steel cables. Yep. One. Two. Up. Three. Don't let it sit at the bottom. Go back up. Up. Constant tension. That's it. Nice. Up, 
Yeah, yeah. better. Come on. Up. Two more. Yeah. We got it. Come on. Squeeze. Come on. And one more. Back up. Squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze all the way. Squeeze to the top. Control. Nice. Good job, man. This is what it's about in the gym, man. If you don't love this, then you're not a bodybuilder. Gotta do the hashtag, Instagram man. bodybuilders, hashtag bullshit. All right, man. Nice and tight. Come on. Shot. Tight right, glutes, hamstrings. Come on. Shredded. Shredded, mate. Squeeze. Easy. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Tight. Seven. One more. Come on. Pull. Ten two. Squeeze. And one. Tight. Squeeze up. Squeeze up. Squeeze up. Squeeze. Nice. All right. You're in. Good man. Let's have a look at the calf, George. Let's have a fucking... Probably still huge, are they? Huh? The calf. Okay, I haven't trained them since 1997. No, no, I haven't trained them since 1997. Come on, piss us off. All right, all right. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. All right, mate, come on then. Let's get these calves. Ooh. Big stretch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stretch. Toes, yes. Oh, yeah. Two. Three. Oh, yeah. Four. Oh, yeah. Five. Oh, yeah. Come on, with you. Let's go. Right. Oh, yeah. Six. Two more. Six. Push. Oh. And one. Oh. One more. One more. Oh. And push. Squeeze. Nice. Okay. Good man. It's a little bit warmer than usual back in the UK, so we're struggling with the heat, but nah, enjoying it, man. I think anybody's going to pull it out, yeah. Just miss the years. And the bastard's still got huge calves, and he doesn't train them. <laughs> Alright man, last set of the day. Let's do it man, pretty strong. Yep. You're in the DY gym man, let's go. Push! Oh. One. Two. Oh. Three. Four. Oh. Five. Oh. Right up, come on, on your toes. Six. Oh. Two more. Push. Squeeze. One oh. more. Oh. Up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. You're up. Hold on, mate. I had surgery on the chest on December 10th, which I developed a hematoma a week later, so we had surgery again on the obviously the 17th to evacuate the hematoma. Unfortunately, the the, the last surgery what, what evacuated the hematoma that's left some um, kind of aneurysm hematoma type tissue here. Four months post surgery, and it still hasn't dissipated. And I have to sign the contract two weeks out. If I sign the contract and don't compete, I get a five thousand dollar fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at it. I'll let Leroy have a look at it as well, see what he thinks. Um, you know, obviously it's got to be acceptable to get on stage. There's no way I'm going to get on stage for me to walk out and the judges to say, oh, this guy, Mark him down, he's got a bad case of gynecomastia. Because that's not what it is. It's not breast tissue. It's hematoma mixed with some kind of aneurysm. Now that there, watch, watch when I've tensed. See it? You're not gonna you're not gonna feel comfortable talking this cause are you? Do you know what it is? I usually take progress pictures every week. Yeah. But you haven't bought I haven't been doing it because it's too mind, it's too fucking headshot. Yeah, your mind's fucked. That's took I mean what would have to come I mean, off there like what eight, ten? You, you yeah. You, you, you could do you, I would do it, ten would piss it. You know what I mean? You, 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 you're that close. Let's do that, let's do that little boy sitting again. 
So yeah, it's nothing is it? That's three weeks work that is. The lump that I had removed was like ten times smaller than that. I wasn't happy with that, so there's no way that I'm gonna get on stage with that like that as it is. Because I wasn't happy with the one that was initially there, which was like couldn't really see it type of thing. So at this stage, it's basically the the day that I actually decided, you know, I wasn't gonna do the show. I don't think it sank in. Um, I'd usually be doing some cardio right now. Uh, I'm not going to do any cardio this morning because, unfortunately, um, the decision has been made that I won't be competing at the, the Malzani Pro in uh, two weeks' time. Um, the scar tissue or hematoma tissue from the surgery just hasn't healed enough. I'm extremely pissed off and upset about it. Um, but, you know, there ain't a whole lot I can do about it. Uh, I'm really kind of lost for words, really. This is, like I say, this is the last one. We're not doing the show. Um, it kind of hasn't really sunk in 100% yet. Uh, so I'm a little bit clamming for words right now. Uh, I didn't think I'll get like this on the vid. I'll be honest, I, I did kind of feel a bit of a, a lump in the throat and stuff when, when I was explaining that I wasn't going to wasn't gonna do the show. <sighs> kind of a little bit of me wanted to really get there and succeed because this is what I want to instill in my daughter, you know, that you don't give up and you don't. You know, I, I wish I could have looked back and said, you know, hey, this happened, that happened, but we got there. I don't really bodybuild for the stage parts. Like, I would bodybuild if there wasn't another fucking bodybuilding contest. Do you know what I mean? You know, I've been doing this like 20 plus years and, you know, I really wouldn't change it a single thing. Hardcore bodybuilding is going to come back around again. You seem to forget the bodybuilders started this whole industry. You know, you could be that guy watching this. You might be the next Dorian Yates. I don't know. You might be the next Rex Lewis. You don't know until you, you keep digging deep and trying. They've got to ride it out for the next probably 18 months. Because this happens every so often. We have a, we have a phase coming, um, a craze, a phase. It lasts a couple of years, two, three years, four years, and then it disappears again. But the bodybuilders will always be there.